So now I'm going to show you a couple of examples on how to rearrange a formula which require three inverses and these ones involve doing square roots and squares. <coughs> so let's have a look at example one. We need to make x the subject of r equals 2x squared plus k. So first of all swap the left hand side and the right hand side of the formula around. So rewrite it as 2x squared plus k equals r. So if we look at on our left hand side of our formula what's happening to x it's been squared, it's then been multiplied by 2 and then we add in on k. So we need to get rid of these off the left hand side and we do this by doing the opposite operations in reverse order. So first of all let me get rid of the plus k. We can do this by subtracting k from both sides. So that will get rid of the k off the left hand side and leave you with 2x squared and on the right hand side just need to think about how we'd write this down so it's just r minus k so the next thing I need to get rid of now is the times 2 so you can do this by dividing both sides by 2 so this will remove the 2 off the left hand side and leave you with x squared and we just need to think about how we write this bit down here so we divide it by 2 so we can write it down as a fraction and the final step now so x is now being squared so what is the opposite function to a square it's a square root so we now need to square root both sides so that will get rid of the square off the left hand side and we just need to square root the fraction on the right hand side make sure your square root sign goes all the way across the fraction Okay, so let's move on to example 2 then. So this time we've got m equals the square root of 3x minus 5. So again, let's swap the left hand side and the right hand side over. So if we have a look at what's happening to x on the left hand side, first of all it's being multiplied by 3, then we're taking away 5, and then it's being square rooted. So we need to do the inverse operations in reverse order. So let's get rid of the square root first of all. So we can do this by squaring on both sides because the square is the opposite to a square root. So this will get rid of the square root off the left hand side and leave you 3x minus 5. And if we square the right hand side that will give us m squared. So the next thing I need to get rid of is the minus 5. We can do this by adding 5 to both sides. So this will give us 3x is equal to, so we're going to add 5 to this, m squared plus 5. So we've only got one number to get rid of now, and that's the times 3. So x is being times by 3, so we need to divide by 3 on both sides. So that will remove the 3 there and give us an answer of x equals m squared plus 5 divided by 3. Thanks for watching.